WPBT Channel 2, Miami, Fort Lauderdale, and the Palm Beaches. You said goodbye. If you think it's over, I'll tell you why. Five years into our marriage, my wife told me she had a lover. I was so pleased she'd noticed. <laughs> She said, we never did anything together. She said, the whole time we'd never actually done one damn thing together and we might as well split up. I said, you first. I first met Becky at a funeral. It wasn't difficult to impress her. Everyone else was dead boring. Or both. <laughs> oh, sorry, I was in the shower. Oh, God, sorry, I'm early. No, no, I'm behind. No, no, it's my fault. It's my fault? No, really, I, I got up too early this morning and I haven't been able to lose the time all day. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought you were the type to get so hyper on a first date. I'll be fair, so far you've only seen me at a funeral. We could visit the grave later if it would help you relax. Wasn't he cremated? Come in and sit by the fire. <laughs> Look, if you're not ready yet, I'll just go for a wander. Oh, trust me, there's not a lot to do around here. Kind of the high spots, the post box at the end of the road. Yeah, I'll pass on that. There were some bikers hanging around it. Oh. <laughs> oh, look, this is terrible. You haven't even had time to tidy up. Yes, I have. <laughs> well... <laughs> I suppose it is a bit of a mess now that you bring it up. I'll just... Uh, no, no, look, Becky, it's fine. I'll just straighten things out a no, bit. No, don't trouble yourself. It's no trouble. Yeah, but you've got to get back in your shower. You don't think I'm clean enough? <laughs> no, no, no. Are you some kind of hygiene nut? No, honestly. No, no, I'm, a, I'm as big a slob as you are. <laughs> what do you think of this is the first date so far? I mean, just say if you want to start going steady. Well, I'm not sure, Mark. The standards are very high around here. Are you wearing clean underwear? Not now. <laughs> How are you feeling now, Mark? Oh, a lot better, thank you. Yes, those ten minutes since my wife left have been really good for me. In fact, uh, it's still early. Um, maybe I'll phone around and get a date. I mean, why write off the entire evening? <laughs> See? Oh, you're just being brave, Mark. No, Tracy, that was sarcasm, the lowest form of wit, as I'm sure you'll realise. But that's about as far up as I go right now on account of the fact that my life has just collapsed about my ears, the woman I love is in the arms of another man, and I want to die. I thought it was puns. What? The lowest form of wit. <laughs> I'm sure sarcasm was the second lowest. We were talking about it at work. Maybe they've changed it. But I expect you know being a writer. I'll check my wall chart. Uh, look, Mark, what Tracy was thinking was you shouldn't be alone tonight. That's right. Now, I'll be fine. Now, if you don't mind, I'll... Mark! Now, listen, I'll be okay, you honestly. You must be on your own. It's very important. Tonight, you've got to be with friends. Well, I promise I'll phone some as soon as you've got them. Oh, you meant you, didn't you? <laughs> Compare and contrast. The first night together. The first night apart. Who can forget their first date with the woman of their dreams? Simultaneously blushing with embarrassment and rampant with desire. Your blood just doesn't know where to go. <laughs> Listen, Becky, this place is fine. It won't take a long no, Becky. Uh... I 
have thought you were the type to get so hyper on the first date. Fair point. Look, I was late home from work. I threw off my clothes and jumped in the shower. I wasn't pitching for the colour spread in a home care omnibus. Well, obviously not. <laughs> Fairly obviously. Look, let's get one thing clear from the start. I don't like to be embarrassed. I saw at the funeral what kind of sense of humour you've got. I regard dinner with you as a calculated risk. So, rule one, don't make me feel uncomfortable. Clear? Absolutely, yes. Good. Have you got a list of conditions we could both sign? I mean, maybe with a penalty clause. I feel I should have brought my lawyer. So he could draw up an agreement before we eat? No, I just think he'd be your type. <laughs> I like men with a sense of humour, but I've kind of been there. You just end up being the laughter track. Uh, look, Becky... Shit! You seen any underwear lying around? Uh, no, no. <laughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. You're not the type that goes around stealing ladies' knickers, are you? No, it wasn't me. Mark, I was only joking. No, good, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Well, here we are then. Mark, what have you got behind your back? Pardon? You're holding something behind your back. What? Oh, nothing. No, I'm just standing like this. <laughs> what? what? You think I've got your underwear behind here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, um, we're not getting off to a great start, are we? Well, I'm a writer. This is all good material for me. Mark, if you ever put this in one of your TV things, I'll kill you. You have my solemn word. You booked the table for eight, right? Sure, yeah. I'd better get ready. <laughs> oh, shit, now she looked here. miles away. Thinking about Becky. Yeah. And handcuffs. <laughs> Coffee? Yeah, thanks. How is he? I think he's feeling very bitter towards Becky. He wants to arrest her. him. What? Now? Oh, he's very upset. We mustn't leave him on his own. We don't want him to do anything silly. Well, um, uh, I could keep an eye on him from the door. Oh, go and talk to him at once. You're his oldest friend. Well, I've only known him about five years. How can you say that? His wife just left him. But it's true. <sighs> well, you're close in other ways. I've always thought you and Mark have a very similar turn of mind. But what if he starts talking about, you know, Becky and everything? Well, change the subject. We mustn't let him get upset. Um, just be nice to him. Say nice things. Put your hand on his shoulder, all friendly. Couldn't I make the coffee? Oh, Robert, <laughs> we don't want him doing anything silly.
So, Mark, how's things? <laughs> Friday nights. What? Becky spends Friday nights at your house. Girls night in with Tracy. Well, that's my squash night, so I don't... But I don't think that's what she's been doing lately. I think she's been telling me that's where she goes, but she's been spending the night with this other guy. Whoever he is, right? When you get back from the squash these days, Becky isn't around, is she? Have you ever thought of taking that squash yourself, Mark? <laughs> I'm guessing Becky hasn't had a night with Tracy in quite a while, am I right? We've got a nice little club going, actually. Why not come along with us sometime? It's Friday night. <laughs> well, obviously you know that. Friday yeah. night! <laughs> Every Friday night with another man! Like, can you believe that? <laughs> I mean, obviously, you've got a good whippy little wrist action there. <laughs> it's a very nice group of people. <laughs> I'm sure it is, Robert. Why not give it a try, then, eh? I think you'd enjoy it. Really, the old squash. Maybe you're right. Would take your mind off things. Yeah, perhaps. <laughs> Doesn't squash take your mind off things, Trace? Oh, yes. Even I've started playing now that Becky never comes round on Friday nights. <laughs> Here's the coffee. Great. Coffee, eh? Great. Now, why don't you two men sit down, have a lovely chat, and I'll go and make some lovely sandwiches. Smashing. <laughs> Oops. Forgot the sugar. <laughs> What would we do without them, eh? <laughs> I, I mean, we, we, we'd probably do very well, actually. I could do fine without Tracy, I expect. Oh, well, I couldn't, because I love her. <laughs> but I could probably do without Becky. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I've got Becky. Oh, no, look, I play squash on Friday nights, for God's sake. Ever thought of taking up squash yourself, Mark? So how are you feeling now? Happy okay in a bit. <laughs> I mean, Mark, Robert. Oh, no, oh, he's fine. Well, better get back to those sandwiches. So, um, how are you feeling? <laughs> Not so good. Hellish, in fact. Like my entire life is over. I see. But basically still hanging in there. <laughs> no, frankly. Where are you going? The toilet. What, on your own? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you going to do? Pardon? What are you going to do, Mark? Well, forgive me, Robert, but I don't usually have to go into that sort of detail. Mark. <laughs> Are you going to do something silly? I suppose you'd call it particularly intelligent. What? Look, if you don't have any more questions, I'm going to the toilet, OK? Yeah, me too. What? I want to go to the toilet too. Well, I'll only be a moment. Well, I'll just come with you. Well, if you're that desperate, why don't you go first? No, we'll go together. Why? Well, uh, I'd like to. <laughs> I know I'm not exactly your oldest friend or anything, but, you know, I think we're close in other ways. Listen, um, it isn't that I'm not terribly flattered. Don't be flattered. It's just that we're men with a similar turn of mind. Well, perhaps. You'll find there's a lot more of us in the squash club. Friday nights? What? Look, Robert, this is all very nice of you, and, you know, as I said, I'm flattered, but I don't really consider myself a free man at the moment, and I really think you ought to consider Tracy's feelings in all this. What? 
You thought I meant... You think I'm a... <laughs> Look, I play squash, damn it! You actually bother with that, do you? No, 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 you, you've got it completely wrong. Right, here are the sandwiches. <laughs> now what are you two men up to? Nothing, honestly. I think it's possible that Robert and I have been having a little misunderstanding. Oh, oh dear, what about? Never mind. I just said I was going to the toilet and I became involved in the most baffling conversation of my entire life. Why? I've no idea. Look, if I say I am going to the toilet again, that's not going to start something strange, is it? Of course not. Good. This has been an appalling enough evening as it is. I am now going to the toilet. Why don't you take Robert? Sorry, I am not going to the toilet with Mark. I have no interest in going to the toilet with Mark. But darling, his wife's just left him. Look, will you stop this? It's perfectly simple. It's perfectly straightforward. There is nothing strange here. I am simply going to the toilet. Yeah, me too. Well, I'm going if you're going. What is all this? Would it be at all comforting for you to know that I shave with an electric razor, the bathroom window is too small for me to hurl myself out of, and there are no pills of any description in there? What made you think I'd do anything so stupid? Well, everything. It was all so horrible. Oh, yes. I but... mean, you and Becky were so happy, and, and now she's gone. I know. And we were at your wedding and everything, and you were lovely together, and you had this lovely flat. And... Oh, don't cry, Tracy. <laughs> These things happen. Come on, Trace. I'll meet somebody else, you know. I promise. Soon. It's all so terrible. Oh, no. You must be so unhappy. Oh, yes. Yeah. I'm not suicidal. Why not? Tracy. No, wait. I do actually need to go to the toilet, you know. <laughs> Know what the hardest thing is on a first date? Well, the second hardest. <laughs> mentioning sex. Anyway, I said to him, I don't know what you're talking about. And he just went mad. The whole day he wouldn't talk to me, which can kind of make life difficult in an office. Anyway, a week later, he comes back to me and says, have I thought about it? And I tell him again, the guy is just too stupid for the job. Believe me, Mark, we're talking about a an IQ so low he should be stuck in a pot on the windowsill. Look, there's a waiter. Get a menu. Oral sex. <laughs> and can we see a menu? going to get much funnier. I don't think I can take any more. Well, you never know. Why? Have you got something up your sleeve? I had a lovely time. Thank you. I had a lovely time too. Can I ask you a personal question? Can I lie? When you eat, why do you only use one hand? I like to alternate. I use my other hand at lunch. <laughs> You've got a great laugh. You told me. Especially my blouse. <laughs> it's probably better if I don't invite you in for coffee. One thing can lead to another, and I'd like to go a little more slowly. Fair enough. Well, all right then, but just the one. <laughs> Are you coming? Uh, yeah, sure. Drink? I thought you were going to have coffee. You missed coffee. You took too long coming in. Thank God I'm here now. Another three seconds, it could have been hard drugs. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be doing something much more interesting in another three seconds. Is this your idea of going a little more slowly? <laughs> Don't let me hold you back if it's making you impatient. <laughs> it's entirely possible I'm a little drunk. No, no. You're really quite tall. <laughs> Do you know what? 
I've just redecorated my bedroom. Do you want to see it? Why don't you describe it to me? Vividly. <laughs> I've got a better idea. Are you coming? I was just noticing these books. <laughs> I see they're all, um, sex manuals. Uh, yes. <clears throat> They were all given to me by a boyfriend I had once. Just once? <laughs> it must have been sensational. He was kind of a weird guy, actually. You know what he gave me for Christmas once? Handcuffs. What a pervert. <laughs> right. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. Yes, well, good night then. Uh, thank you. I was just phoning our babysitter. Robert and I are going to spend the night. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so sorry about getting all weepy earlier on. Don't worry about it. Oh, thank you. Can I ask you two a question? Of course. Why are you doing all this for me? Because we love you, Mark. We've always loved coming here. Haven't we, Robert? Mm. You always say such funny things. And we're ever so proud that we know someone who writes for television, even if we never meet anyone who watches your programmes. It's <laughs> very kind of you. Anyway, we know you'd always be there for us. Yes. Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's funny we should all end up friends, isn't it? When you think about how we first met. Do you remember that? Tracy, I'm unlikely to forget. <laughs> <laughs> like it? Well, I always have before. <laughs> Look, Becky, uh, can I say something here? If you feel you've got the time. Look, things are moving kind of fast here, and, you know, we've, we've both drunk quite a bit, and I just want to be absolutely sure that you know what you're doing, because no way am I going to take advantage. You know, if, if you want out of this, Becky, just say the word. Strip. If I run away, I'll never see her again. If she finds me with her pervert boyfriend's handcuffs on, she'll kill me and I'll never see her again. <laughs> Terrific. I suppose I could just gnaw my hand off at the wrist. <laughs> if she gets any sexier, I'll probably do that anyway. <laughs> now, Becky, I, I, I just fell over and, you know, these cuffs just happened to just leap onto my wrist. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, Becky, I, I forgot to tell you I got arrested earlier this evening and they let, they let me off with just half a pair of handcuffs. <laughs> oh, come on, be serious, be serious. I, I, Becky, I just found these behind one of your cupboards, you know, and I thought, you know, just for a laugh, I thought... <laughs> I thought just for a laugh, I... I, try, I put them on, I mean... I try them on, I mean, you know... <laughs> I mean, what kind of total gits will get a kick out of this, eh? <laughs> now, go and get the key and stop fooling around. Let's start fooling around. <laughs> yes, we'll go for that. She's got a sense of humour. She's drunk. <sighs> God, I feel stupid. <laughs> no, this is going to work. This is definitely going to work. What is it? Some friends of mine. They said they were going to pop round. I completely forgot. Don't answer the door. I'll get rid of them quickly, I promise. Oh, uh, Becky! If, get your clothes on fast. <laughs> if they come in here, tell them you're fixing the radiator or something. <laughs> oh, Robert, Tracy, I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Oh, that's all right. Actually, we can't stay long anyway. Oh, well, come in, come in. <laughs> Did you have a good night at the squash club? Yes, 
gave them all a good thrashing. Oh, good, good. Oh, Becky, your flat looks lovely. Well, thank you. Doesn't it look lovely? Yes, it does. Well, I'll just put on some coffee. And you've been doing that in the bedroom too, haven't you? I must have... <laughs> I think she'll be fine now. Good. Um, um, oh, look at the time. It's, it's, Tracy, I, I've forgotten how to tell the time. Well, Robert and I must be off. Come along, darling. It's been lovely. Bye. Bye. Look, how I got here is a long story, and, you know, the way I expect your feeling about me, I shouldn't think you want to hear it. I, I'm really sorry I embarrassed you in front of your friends just now, and you've got every reason to feel pissed off as hell with me, so why don't you just get the key, uncuff me, and I'll go. I promise I'll never bother you again. Just, just uncuff me, and I'm out of here. Becky, just unlock the cuffs. Make me. And in closing, I'd just like to thank one very special person, my wife, without whom... Yeah. Tune in next Sunday night at 11.30 for more of Joking Apart. Now enjoy the Dame Edna experience, coming up next. All dressed in black Won't be coming back Just save the tears Because you said goodbye 